Hello everyone and welcome into our new YouTube channel for trading mindset and data. So let's start with the today's analysis. I'll, I want to talk about uh, the QQQ and how we use data to anticipate um, change of trend or continuation of trend. Our main metric is is the volatility skew. As you can see on the chart here, I placed the volatility skew over three months of the QQ options. So what is the volatility skew? It's simply the difference between the implied volatility out of the money put and out of the money calls with different strike price, but say term. So in this case here, as you can see, we are watching a very strong decrease in the implied volatility of the out of the money put, which is pushing the price action high because market makers are going to hedge, going to hedge as the implied volatility lowers into puts. They're going to hedge about buying the underlying and therefore the price is moving higher so as you can see it's a very useful metric also here in july we had a very strong dip because of the the carry trade and then a very strong rebound and, it, and we we could anticipate this kind of of rebound thanks to this metric that most hedge funds and most big institutions use so it's very common it's not something new but it's it's very important to have and uh, we can use this metric into the, the main ETFs which uh, we have built the screener for the main ETFs and we have the volatility skew for one month, three month and one year with the open interest or the block flows, term structure, technical signal, breakout and etc. So if you want to learn everything about our scanner if you like them you can join us here we have all metric for stocks and everything else so as you can see here talking about the trend i think we are going to to break this kind of bull flag probably it's going to be a chop because we have a liquid residence right here. I think we are going to chop a little bit and then continue higher as long as the implied volatility on puts continues to lower. And um, talking about the uh, highest grades, as you can see. On, on Friday, we had a very strong decrease in the higher spreads. Therefore, a very strong confirmation that the market wants to continue higher as the liquidity continues to increase into the bond market. And, and that's it. If you want to have more analysis for stocks and uh, ETS futures, we can continue into the next videos. Thanks for watching.